Okay, we are back to the sewing machine. Make sure you put your tension back to what it was before. Don't leave it on eight and nine, because what's going to happen if you do, you're going to um, really get puckery fabric. Okay, so let's uh, set our uh, machine back to a normal stitch. I'm going to stay in the middle, and I'm going to sew with a... Um, you can sew with your regular machine setting, or you can go a little higher. It's whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay, so our first um, line of stitching is going to be the first one. That um, That's that rolled hem. It doesn't matter because we're going to make that our... We're going to keep it flat, just like this. Okay, so get your tool out and find your beginning stitches. Is this my beginning? Yes. Okay. I'm going to put this underneath so I can keep it out of the way. Make sure you keep your fabric um, straight so you don't um, sew over the top of it. Now this was the um, first ones we did and remember I had the too many gathers in it at the time. So I can either try and spread this out and reuse it still and work those gathers in or I could just cut it off. I'm just going to go ahead and use this. So even if I have extra gathers, it won't be a problem. Okay, so all we're going to do is we're going to leave the stitching in here. So we're going to sew right. We're going to take that line of stitching and we're going to line it up directly over the top of those purple marks. And that's how we're going to sew. So let's go ahead and get started here. Okay, so line up, I'm using the um, J foot. Let me see if I have a J foot over here. I'm using the J foot. So there's that line in the middle. So you're going to line that, the stitching up with the purple um, chalk mark and the line of the stitching. They're going to be right on top of each other. And that's how we're going to sew across. So if you don't get a perfect gather on every single don't worry about it because by the time you're finished everything's going to um, even itself out. Okay. Okay, so just keep lining it up and sewing across. Keep that line of stitching right in the center of that purple chalk mark. If you need to even out your stitches as you're going, now's the good time to do it. Okay. Got a little off there, but that's okay. And like I say, once you wash this, you can just take it to your sink with a little bit of dish soap and rinse it out in the water, throw it in the dryer, and you'll get rid of all these chalk marks. I haven't seen the movie yet. I can't wait, though. The, um, the guy that does the prints, he is um, uh, Rob Stark from Game of Thrones. I hope he has a better ending than Game of Thrones did. I'm sure he gets Cinderella in the end. Thank goodness he didn't get his Cinderella in the last one. No. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. It was a horrible scene. It was terrible. Okay, well, let's keep going here. I'm not going to do all of these rows on the camera because it'll just take too long. And um, so I'll do this one. I'll show you how I cut it off. And then we'll... Um, Start row two and then I'll um, go ahead and finish the rest off camera. And then we'll um, 
go from there. very well. <laughs> okay, because we did back um, a stitch every every once in a while, you still may end up with a point where um, you're going to lose your stitching. Okay, if you want to avoid that, when you get to the end, go ahead and back stitch. Okay, come off of the fabric and then do another back stitch and try and catch some of those previous um, um, stitching and that'll um, hopefully uh, prevent you from losing uh, the beginning of the next gathering section. It just helps. Okay, so now we're just going to cut right down our tool. Okay, so there we go. We got our first line in. Okay, so if it's not a perfect, um, uh, if it's not perfect, it doesn't really matter because by the time it's all said and done, you're never going to notice. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to uh, line number two. We're going to start where we finished, and we're just going to keep going right along um, and um, do it. Okay, I'm going to uh, show you what happens if you don't have enough gathers while you're in the midst of sewing. So let me go ahead and put this down. Okay, so take a couple straight pins. Okay, I don't have enough gathers right here. See how I've got a straight line here and it's just flat? I don't want that. So I'm just going to take my straight pin and I'm going to uh, put a couple... Um, little hills, um, little, um, I'm just going to move that, or how do you explain this, I'm just going to move this up like I'm manually gathering it, and I'm going to um, give myself some um, gathers here, okay, do you see how easy that is? So then I can get back to getting more gathers instead of having that straight line there. So let's go ahead and sew and then just take those pins out when you get to them and then you'll get a nice um, even um, gathering gather if you end up with a long stretch without any gathers Okay. I am. First time I did this, I didn't straighten out my fabric underneath, and I ended up sewing over the top of the bottom of the uh, other fat. I had to take all those stitches out. It wasn't fun. So um, try to keep your fabric straight. Okay, so once you get going on this, if, it, if it's easier for you instead of um, doing it like I'm doing it, Go ahead and, and pin your whole line of stitching across, but um, I wouldn't do that because you're going to end up uh, losing a lot of your um, pre-gathering, like, you know, because you won't be able to go, you'll, well, you know, it's whatever works for you. It might work just fine and dandy. I shouldn't tell you not to do something. It probably works. Whatever works best for you. is just one way. There's just so many ways to do this. I mean, if you were really picky and you wanted it to be perfect, you can um, sew these rows by row and hide all your uh, top of the tool underneath the um, inside seams. But I think, boy, that that would be a lot of um, extra work when you really don't need it because Who's going to see it, uh, the slip? You're going to see the outside dress. Um, I looked at the real Cinderella dress and it looked like she had yards and yards of voile 
and um, multiple colors too because she had a, a aqua blue she had a light blue I mean the gown was the gown is absolutely beautiful she's got those little butterflies all over the top of the um, uh, her bodice because she's got those flouncy um, neckline um, flourish whatever you want to call those things I'm not even sure what they're called but I'm going to I was going to go to Joanne's today but I'm going to go tomorrow and see if I can find little silk butterflies that I can put in the um, to the fabric. I'm using the um, for the bodice on the um, for the bodice on the um, dress of the I'm using Shamu's Shamu's it's a step up from satin and I've been sewing on it and I'm having much it's you still it's still um have a, you still have a problem with that fabric with the um, shredding on it. It shreds, but it's not as bad as the satin does, and it's easier to work on. I had so much trouble working on satin, but um, I bought it at Walmart, and it was supposed to be on sale for um, the Shamus. Shamus. C H A M. Uh, I bought it on sale at Walmart. I only got a quarter yard, and um, it was three dollars. But uh, when the lady got it, uh, I, I walked away, and my husband had it cut for me, and um, she charged me um, four ninety seven a yard. But it's um, almost like satin. Well, I, I guess it's like a version of satin, and, and it still does fray a lot. But um, it really does make a really pretty uh, bodice. So I'm going to see if I can, I'm going to Joanne's, I'm going to see if I can find something just like this in the, the light blues that um, uh, the actual Cinderella dress looks like. Okay, so let's see. I went off of the, um, okay, let me back up. Okay, I think I caught the stitches. Okay, so that was um, um, number two. So let's go ahead and cut that um, flush with the seam. Okay, I'm going to do the other two off camera so that um, we don't spend an hour doing this. But anyway, this is where we're at so far. We've got two rows of the... Um, two rows of the um, tool. Okay, looks pretty good. And then with the uh, two inch overlap, instead of this being up around here, it's actually a little bit um, further over, gives you a further overlap, which is okay. It, it's, it's okay, it looks just fine. Okay, so I'm gonna finish the other two and then I'll um, come back and we'll um, start the waistband that gathers around the waist and we'll put this together. Okay?